My name is Tess Lovell. I am a junior in the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm double majoring in English and PMA. I'm from New York City, so I was surrounded by a lot of theater growing up, and I was definitely one of those kids that took school plays very seriously and like was putting on concerts for my friends during lunch. One of my favorite memories that comes to mind was the first time I performed on the Kiplinger stage, which is the huge proscenium theater um, on the first floor. Uh, it was in this musical called The Family Capoli, which was uh, an original musical written by a PhD candidate here. And the, the process of building that show was just so special. I met my best friends through that show. I just remember this, the, the, this electric feeling that was in the air on opening night when we saw the audience out there for the first time and realized that we were all gonna get to put this on together in this space. It was such a special experience and I think it was a formative memory in my life, but definitely a formative PMA memory. Well, actually, right now, I'm working on the play Stupid Effing Bird. I don't know if I can say that on camera, but, um, but it's a play written by Aaron Posner that's an adaptation of Chekhov's The Seagull, and it's being directed by Fanny Mazarski, who's a senior in the department. I just feel so close to every member of that cast, and, um, and I think that this is maybe my favorite character that I've ever played too. I feel very, very emotionally connected to this character. Um, and it's really cool doing a student directed project too because Fanny is just building this thing from the ground up because she loves this play. This department puts up dance shows and they put up original musicals and films every week and there's just so, so much going on if you look for it. Um, and I never anticipated the range of experiences that I would get here just from like saying yes to things. I am hoping to continue on this path professionally. I will probably move back to New York after I graduate. I'm thinking about going to grad school to get an MFA in acting just to get that concentrated training and feel like I'm launching into the world with as much preparation as I can possibly get. But, um, but yeah, it's my dream to be an actor on stage or screen, so I'm gonna graduate and pursue that. Um, and I'm grateful that there are a lot of other people at the school who wanna do that too, and we are able to share the same ambitions and fears, um, and also encouragements for each other about that.